Also, for any of you familiar with imaginary number exponents, this particular example is probably ringing a ton of bells. It is 100% analogous. In fact, we could have framed the entire example where Romeo and Juliet's feelings were packaged into a complex number, and the rate of change of that complex number would have been i times itself, since multiplication by i also acts like a 90 degree rotation. The same exact line of reasoning, both analytic and geometric, would have led to this whole idea that e to the power i t describes rotation. These are actually two of many different examples throughout math and physics where you find yourself exponentiating some object which acts like a 90 degree rotation times time. It shows up with quaternions or many of the matrices that pop up in quantum mechanics. In all of these cases, we have this really neat general idea that if you take some operation that rotates 90 degrees in some plane, often it's a plane in some high dimensional space that we can't visualize, then what we get by exponentiating that operation times time is something that generates all other rotations in that 